Cappuccino Crafts. I am coming to you from the Pacific Northwest of the United States and I live here with my parents. I take care of them and we also have a lovely cat named Stella who is so sweet and brings us smiles every day. So, yeah, and this is my little corner of the internet where, in YouTube, where I talk about crafts, mostly knitting and a little bit of crochet, and um, get up to bookish, bookish adventures and, um, chat about tea and coffee and other things that uh, capture my interest including um, TV and movies and things that I like to watch while I craft so thank you so much for uh, watching this video choosing to spend a little bit of your time with me I hope you enjoy it. Um, please um, settle in, grab yourself uh, a beverage, any beverage of your choice, and grab your yarn, your needles, your hook, your uh, drop spindle, spinning wheel, your embroidery floss, and your embroidery hoop, whatever you need. And let's have a little bit of crafty time together and crafty chat. Um, if you have been watching earlier episodes, you will notice that I am still working on my boxy sweater by Hohi Locatelli. Uh, and it is going pretty well. It's getting longer. It curls at the bottom a little bit, but there is, it's, it's getting just a, a couple inches from uh, time to split between front and back. And uh, do the, do the front and back so that there's a armhole to uh to do the sleeves yeah so definitely making progress on this um this is very very oversized so um this is not a quick sweater although uh she does have a version of this done in worsted weight which would go faster. Um, and for any regular viewers, I hope you're not sick to death of, of this project. Um, but yeah, it goes on and on, but not forever. It will get done. And the other project I am working on, I've got my Mercury socks. This is a, a free downloadable pattern uh, on Ravelry. And it's just a, a, a simple lace and a pretty traditional sock yeah um, from the cuff down I did a heel flap and I 
I did the heel turn. And now I picked up the stitches all the way around and am decreasing on the gussets. Here's the other one. Yeah. So for any uh, people watching the first time, um, the yarn for this boxy sweater is Dream and Color Smooshy, which is 100% superwash merino in a fingering weight. And the colorway is Mild Tedium, which uh, I think really suits these beautiful, kind of muted, but very pretty purples and blues and a, a little bit of brown. And it's very... The, the mood of the name, Mild Tedium, and the kind of quiet and muted uh, blues and purples and grays and browns reminds me of a rainy day in the Pacific Northwest. That's why it seemed so perfect to me. And years ago, when I saw some... Uh, in a in a yarn shop I knew I had to have it I, I just knew it needed to be and I can't wait to wear this sweater this fall and look out the window on a rainy day it was raining this morning we had a very wet and rainy morning it felt like kind of a early fall day uh, yeah, so that's this yarn, and this yarn for the socks is Patton's Croy Sock, and it's a striped colorway called uh, Brown Rose Marl which I really am enjoying too. Yeah. And all my, all details and um, things that I talk about that, that I think you might want to be able to look up or find more information, I put those things in show notes on in the information box under the video yeah and i will also put my um username my username and social media is cappuccino136 and i am active on ravelry instagram and goodreads yeah, so all, all of that information you can find in the information box below the video. I hope that's helpful for you. Yeah. So, since it does, it is a cooler day and feeling a little bit like fall weather, which I love, um, I am wearing today my Makariri shawl which I finished just after I started putting videos on this channel. This is one of the first um, finished objects that I showed. Or maybe I finished it right before my first video. Um, anyway, so yeah, that I'm wearing it today and it's beautiful. I love it. The Makariri shawl is designed by Aroha Knits, who is a, a really talented designer. 
and she has a lovely Instagram. So if you want to, if you are an Instagram person, uh, Aroha is is a, a very good person to follow. Yeah. So. That is what I'm working on right now. I'm also thinking and dreaming about a future project. I, I uh, dug this yarn out of my stash, I don't know, about a, three weeks, a month ago. And, um, because I wanted it to be the next sweater that I do. And it's a beautiful yarn. This yarn is Indie String. I bought it years ago. Again, I'm working it from Stash. Got it years ago, ordered it online. Um, it is 100% Falkland wool in a worsted weight. And this colorway is called Black Cherry. And it is gorgeous. It is deep and dark and lovely. It's got reds and purples and blacks. And uh, it's just really, really lovely. And I think it will make a, a fabulous sweater. I don't know what pattern yet. So I'm still figuring that out. But um, I want to use this for my October project um, for the October Knit and Listen Along, which is being hosted by a few channels on BookTube. Um, one of them is one of my favorite BookTubers, uh, Mal's Bookland Adventures. That's the name of her channel on YouTube. And October in, in the BookTube world is Victober, which is a time to read and listen to Victorian literature. So Mel and a few other knitting booktubers are hosting a knit or crochet, crochet is very welcome, uh, a craft and listen along. And the book, the book is Adam Bede by George Eliot. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I'll probably also cast on a, a small project real soon. Um, I'm not going to wait until October <laughs> to do anything else new. Um, but right now I am happy focusing on my two current projects. Um, yeah. So what are you working on? What are your crafting projects at the moment um, and are you are you working on anything while you uh, watch this video yeah I'd love to hear about it in the comments that, that'd be fun to chat about what we're all crafting yeah and if any of you are interested in Victorian novels and 
uh, listening to Adam Bead and joining the craft along. I hope you do. That would be really great. Um, Mel has a video on her channel announcing it and giving the details about it. Yeah, so if if you'd like to join, check that out. So, I think that's all the, the crafting talk. Um, in the last episode, I did say I was really excited to check out Carnival Row, the new um, fantasy drama on Prime video and I did I watched three episodes and these are my thoughts it is well done uh, I think the acting is good uh, I the the design and the artistic direction and the camera work all that it, it looks beautiful it's got a very like victorian gritty uh kind of dark and brooding uh atmosphere also the main character is orlando bloom is one of the main two characters and he is a detective so it's got detective procedural elements to it as well as the fantasy there's a series of uh, murders going on uh, fairies are being murdered and it's got a lot of the things that I expected to just super love and enjoy. But some, for some reason, um, something is just not connecting with me. And I'm not exactly sure why. Um, it might be I'm just not really connecting with the characters, or it could be there's also political elements to it. The fairies are refugees in, in this uh, Victorian city and there's a lot of politics going on too and immigration and politics and racism and power which is all very of the moment and very uh relevant to current events but maybe it's just that in real life there's so much of that that I'm just not feeling like I need fiction about it right now. So that could be. Um, but if it sounds like something that is up your alley, if it sounds like it, got, it has the elements that you enjoy, then uh, check it out and see see if it's if it's for you I'm just not clicking with it um, but that but not because it's poorly done yeah anyway so that's that and I 
don't expect to be watching any more episodes. But on Friday evening, I did very much enjoy watching the second episode of the new season of The Great British Baking Show, which is on Netflix. So, yeah, I talked at length about that show in the last episode, um, so I'm not going to go over all that again, but it was, that was a lovely Friday evening watching that and knitting. And I also, before I got my knitting out, I also had a little dessert while I watch the opening sections of it, while I watch the first challenge, yeah. So, that's the watching and TV and stuff. What do you like to uh, listen to or watch while you're crafting? Yeah. What are some of your favorites? That would be nice to hear in the comments. And in books, I still have not gone back to the audiobooks that I started a while ago, um, but I am enjoying my two Peter S. Beagle paperbacks that I am reading kind of side by side. And the two Peter S. Beagle books are the Last Unicorn, which I have right here, The Last Unicorn, and Summerlong is the other one. The Last Unicorn is an old favorite, and I hadn't read it in a very long time, so I wanted to reread it, and then I decided to read a book by Peter Spiegel that I have never read before and read them kind of side by side as kind of companion reads. And it turned out to be a great idea. I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah, so if you have not ever read any Peter S. Spiegel, uh, I do recommend try, if you, if you like fantasy, um, he is a he's a very good fantasy author. I really enjoy him. So that's that's the books. So not a lot of new and exciting. I'm just kind of keeping keeping going. But that's good for me. And just a, a funny little thing. Has this ever happened to you at the grocery store? Um, yesterday, I was at the grocery store and I was putting the things from my car onto the, onto the little, uh, staging place so the checker could check out the, the items and somebody had 
decided not to buy and it left one of my favorite fancy chocolate bars. A Ghirardelli dark chocolate and salted caramel bar. And I was like, I saw it right there. And I was like, really? Really? Somebody had to leave this right here. So now it's in my face. And I tried to leave it behind, but it went in my order. And went in a bag and came home. I have not eaten it yet, but I really look forward to having it. Apparently, I, I just needed chocolate that day. I needed to get some chocolate. But has anything like that ever happened to you at the grocery store? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I think this is going to be kind of a short episode. I don't really have anything else I really want to chat about. I, if anybody is watching who was living on the Atlantic seaboard where uh, Hurricane Dorian uh came. I hope that you um, are in a safe place. I hope that all of your family is safe and your loved ones. And if anybody uh, who is watching has a, a, love, a, a friend or a family member, a, a, a loved one who was in in the path of the hurricane. Um, I hope that your loved ones are okay and safe uh, now. Yeah, so scary. Um, so wherever you are, I hope that you're crafting is making you happy and uh, all your creative projects are going well. I hope that your family is well and have a good week coming up and enjoy the fall or spring or whichever season it is where you are. And um, Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.